Many of us take for granted that we have natural plants around us that we can use to easily make a nice cup of tea with tons of health benefits, especially if you live in the Caribbean. So let's start this series by enjoying some mint tea. This particular type is called Jamaican mint. I'm using two and a half cups of water to one sprig of mint. Add more or less depending on how intense you want the flavor. Some benefits of mint tea is that it aids in digestion, relieves gas and bloating, relieves cramps, improves energy, freshens breath, improves sleep, etc. So you can either drink this to start your day or wind down and relax from a long one. I like to sweeten mine with a little bit of honey. Check out the full details below and stay tuned for the next one. Until then, live life to the fullest and just enjoy food. Next up on our homemade tea series, let's enjoy a nice cup of Cersei tea. I'm just going to go straight into its amazing health benefits. It's great for detoxifying and purging the body and blood. It's good for ailments like diabetes and hypertension. It helps to rid the body of any parasites. It's high in nutrients like vitamin A, C, phosphorus and iron. Helps to relieve any constipation and abdominal pains. It's good for immune health and a host of other amazing health benefits. Now, it's not the best in terms of taste. It's very bitter but it's worth it given its health properties you can boil it fresh or dry it like what i've done here the flavor will be a little bit more intense i'm making enough for a week because i have a sweet tooth and i'm detoxifying from that you can also have it chilled it's not recommended to drink it for more than a week though due to its detoxifying properties more details are below and as always live life to the fullest and just enjoy food Welcome to part 3 of my homemade tea series and let's enjoy some ginger tea. This is one of my favorite teas. I drink it quite often. So to 2.5 cups of water, I'm going to add 1 inch or 1 knob of ginger which is roughly the size of half my thumb. I'm going to wash and peel it and then grate it because you get so much more flavor from it this way. I'm also going to add some dried orange peel. This is optional. I don't always add it although it gives a nice flavor. So ginger tea is great for nausea and vomiting and helps to calm motion sickness and dizziness. So it's a natural and effective remedy for ailments like morning sickness. It helps to reduce blood pressure, helps with weight loss, is rich in antioxidants, rids the body of mucus, it helps relieve gas and bloating as someone who used to work long hours in corporate ginger tea has saved me so many times. I like to sweeten mine just with a little bit of honey. Stay tuned for the next one. Until then, live life to the fullest and just enjoy food. Welcome to part 4 of my homemade tea series and today we're going to enjoy some lemongrass tea, more popularly known in Jamaica as fevergrass tea. I'm going to get one blade or stalk from my plants and what I like to do is to just tie it in a little bunch and then add it to my pot with some water. I also like to add a little ginger because I think it brings out the flavor so much more. You don't have to add it if you don't want to. A few benefits of fevergrass tea is that it helps to lower cholesterol, helps with high blood pressure, has cancer fighting properties, it has anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties so it's great for ailments like fever, hence the name fevergrass. It is a diuretic which means that it makes you pee a lot more often so you want to bear that in mind so it will help the body to flush out extra fluids. This tea is one of my favorites and the aroma will have your house smelling lovely. Until next time. Live life to the fullest and just enjoy food. For episode 5 of my homemade tea series, let's enjoy some soursop leaf tea. Now, this is what the soursop fruit looks like and I wash, dried and store the leaves to make tea. There are two things that I recommend when it comes to extracting more from the leaves. One, crush them a little before you boil them and two, you're going to have to boil them a little bit longer than most teas, at least 10 minutes. So, soursop leaf tea is best known for its cancer fighting properties. It helps with inflammation, helps with insomnia, boosts your immune system, it helps helps regulate your blood sugar so it can help with treating diabetes and it has a host of other benefits. This tea has a very mild flavor especially when you dry the leaves first. You can boil them fresh as well. Either way you have a homemade tea with tons of health properties. Until next time, live life to the fullest and just enjoy food. Welcome to the fifth and final episode of homemade teas and today we're going to enjoy some pineapple skin tea. So we bought this homegrown pineapple and the idea came to me to just use the skin to make tea instead of throwing it away. Make sure you wash your pineapple thoroughly. 
I'm going to add all the peels and scraps to a pot with a little piece of ginger water and one cinnamon leaf. You could also use the stick. A few benefits of pineapple skin tea is that it aids with digestion, helps boost metabolism so it supports weight loss. It is a diuretic which means that it eliminates excess water and toxins from the body. It reduces inflammation and it helps to boost your immune system. You can have this as iced tea as well. I personally prefer it chilled. I just add some lime and a little bit of sugar to it. Check out my previous homemade teas and as always, live life to the fullest and just enjoy food.